ever stared into your microwave watching your leftovers spin like they're in a tiny glowing disco and thought, how in the name of all that is cheesy and delicious is this thing actually working? Well, my friends, prepare to have your minds gently warmed because today we're cracking open the lid on the microwave mystery. And no, it's not just angry pixies with tiny blowtorches, though that would be way cooler. So, how do microwaves actually heat food? It all comes down to something pretty wild. Water. Think of your food, be it last night's pizza or that sad defrosted block of ice cream, as a tiny swimming pool of water molecules. Now the microwave oven has a special little gizmo inside called a magnetron. Don't worry about the name. Just imagine it's a super-powered DJ spinning a very specific kind of invisible radio wave. These aren't just any waves, these are microwave waves. And here's where the magic, or rather the science, happens. These microwave waves are specifically designed to make those water molecules dance. I'm talking a full-on aggressive mosh pit kind of dance. The waves basically push and pull the water molecules making them flip and flop around like a fish out of water at a rave. And what happens when you rub your hands together really fast? They get warm, right? Same principle. All that frantic flailing and friction from the water molecules rubbing against each other generates heat. This heat then spreads to the other molecules in your food, the fats, the carbs, the mystery meat, warming everything up from the inside out. So next time you're nuking your noodles, remember you're not just cooking with a futuristic box, you're orchestrating a microscopic dance party where the main act is water molecules doing the cha-cha-cha until they're literally hot to trot. Pretty cool, huh? Or should I say pretty warm? If you learned something new and chuckled along the way, hit that like button and subscribe for more bite-sized science explanations. See you next time.